How you doing? Bill Loganiska here, and like always, uh, I got a t-shirt from one of our fans, and this is from Vassar College, which is right here in New York. Uh, uh, like I said, anytime you want to have your, uh, your, your city or your locale or your college on the Saturday morning diet, please send it in to us. At, uh, ask us for the address at info, at, uh, or you can send it to saturdaydiet at gmail.com, and that should get to us pretty quickly. You know, today, I want to talk about something that I've come to realize. Uh, I've been using uh, raisins for a while now because we ran out of blueberries one day. And uh, Joan says to me, Bill, I, I have uh, blueberries available, uh, rather raisins, that uh, are just as good as, uh, as blueberries and just as nutritious. And the added advantage, they're very low in cost. And the other thing is that you could buy a big bag of blueberries, like I mean uh, raisins, like this for very little cost. And the other thing is they last forever. You know, at least six months, you put them in the refrigerator. And uh, in the morning when you make your oatmeal, you go in, take a few, and they sweeten up your oatmeal. You don't have to use artificial sweeteners, which many of you have complained that I advocated artificial sweetener. Okay, okay, you were right. I was wrong. But that's the process of learning. But uh, I, I have a little talk on raisins and dry fruits in particular because many of us are single or uh, can't afford to be running out to get uh, fresh fruits. And fresh fruit do spoil on us. So uh, dry fruits are, are simply uh, sweet grapes uh, that have been dried. So uh, let me put on this little piece here and I'll go into that uh, lesson plan for you to explain the benefits of it. Let's see, because technology, you know, it's always been my, uh, my downfall here. Let's see, there it is, okay. And I have a very nice talk I put together because raisins are simply dried grapes, of course. Raisins range from about 67% to 72% sugars by weight. Molts is fructose and glucose. They also contain about 3% protein and 3.5 fiber. Dietary fiber, which is important. Raisins like plums, apricots are high in certain antioxidants. As with all dried fruits, raisins have a very low vitamin C content. Raisins are low in sodium and contain no cholesterol. New research has shown that despite having a high concentration of sugars, raisins fight bacteria in the mouth that cause cavities and gum disease. Bear that in mind. As you get older, that becomes a bigger issue, especially if you smoke. Dried fruit is fruit where the majority of the original water content has been removed either naturally through sun drying or through the use of specialized dryers or dehydrators. Today, dry fruit consumption is widespread. Nearly half of the dry fruit sold are raisins, followed by dates, plums, which are really uh, dried plums, uh, prunes rather, figs, apricots, peaches, apples, and pears. They are referred to as conventional or traditional dried fruits. Fruits that have been dried in the sun or heated in wind tunnels, uh, the ones to avoid are fruits such as ashcanberries, Blueberries, cherries, strawberries, and mangoes, which are infused with a sweetener, glucose syrup, prior to drying. They're really like, uh, they, they're sold as dry fruit, but really like papaya and pineapples are actually candied fruit. So if you want some candy, that's a good option, but it's not a dietary food. Dry fruits retain most of the nutritional value of fresh fruits, and so included in fresh fruit and dietary recommendations by the U.S. and World Health Agencies. The specific nutrient content of different dried fruits reflect their fresh counterpart and the processing method. That's why they're so good for you. Because uh, traditional dried fruits versus sugar-infused dried fruit, in general, all dried fruits provide essential nutrients and array of health-protective bioactive ingredients making them valuable tools to both increase diet quality and help reduce the risk of chronic disease. The combination of nutritional value and enjoyable taste is the reason dry foods have been popularly considered a healthy food for millennia. Because they are naturally resistant 
to spoilage, easy to store and transport, and relatively low in cost, dried fruits are a convenient way to increase the number of servings of fruits in the diet. And you know, I was late to come to this. Fresh fruits, dried fruits are practically devoid of fat, trans fat, saturated fat, and cholesterol. And this is what we want to get rid of in our diet. Fresh fruits, dried fruits, have very low sodium content, which is also cut out that salt. Dried fruits are a particularly significant source of dietary fiber and potassium. On a per servings, one quarter cup of dry fruits are among the top 50 contributors of these nutrients among foods in the American diet. So everybody else is doing it, but we're not. Amongst all fruits, they are among the top five contributors of potassium and fiber. Dried fruits also provide essential nutrients that are otherwise low in today's diets, such as vitamins A, apricots and peaches, calcium, figs, vitamin K, dried plums, iron and copper, raisins, and dried plums are among the 50 major contributors of barren in the American diet. And you know, a lot of people don't know about barren. Maybe I'm going to make a video about it uh, so you can learn more about it. Uh, Barren, a, a putative trace element, is important for the growth and maintenance of healthy bones and joints. You know, as we're getting older, joints are becoming a bigger and bigger issue. Uh, drying sometimes removes some of the fruit's water and so concentrates their natural sugar. This, however, is normalized by normal, by ser smaller serving size. You know, you got to watch it. Everything we eat got calories. And calories is what's making us uh, have this problem. So I want to uh, talk to you about that uh, on the Saturday Diet, we, we started a, a Google Plus program uh, on Saturday Diet. You can go to Google Plus and punch in Saturday Diet and join us because uh, I, I'm not getting feedback from you guys. You know, sometimes I feel like I'm a beautiful billboard in the middle of a desert and no one, no eyes to see it. No one's passing by. You know, I'm out here every Saturday morning trying to impart knowledge and share with you my struggle and hoping that uh, you're getting help with your struggle. And by the way, you know, YouTube uh, just changed their program. There's no longer friends on YouTube. Uh, if you are a friend, please go over and subscribe because there's no more friends. You know, I was up to... Uh, 11,982 friends. I was waiting to hit that 12,000 mark. Unfortunately, they took it away. So please go over and uh, subscribe as a subscriber because there's no more friends on YouTube. So again, thanks for watching. I'm going to go do the weigh-in and hopefully I, I went down something because, you know, the holidays are rough on you. So let me flip this around and we'll see where we are. Let's see where the camera is landing this time. Oh, look at that. Good shot right there. Sometimes wonders never cease. So let's see where we are. Let's see. You got a good view. Let's see if I can get a better... A better... Uh, there you go. Some people complain that uh, you can't see my way in. And it defeats the purpose. So here we go. All right. Oh my God. Two thirty three six. Oh my God. That's pretty bad. I already know that uh, I'm way over. I was 2.30 last week uh, for two weeks in a row, and now I'm 2.33.6. And that's pretty bad. You know, uh, I put on three and a half pounds in a week. Now, it could be water. It could be that uh, I broke down and had some Christmas cookies because Joan made a bunch of Christmas cookies. I can't blame her. It's my fault. I ate them. But uh, I just want to share with you one other little item before we go. 